What sounds like a better deal to you? A nine to five with a steady paycheck where you work with a team and you can get promoted or a freelance gig where you make your own hours and you get to charge whatever you like. Michael here from CodeCloud and today I'll be answering a common question we get from DevOps engineers. Should I get a full-time job or should I go freelance slash contractor? The answer is it depends and it's not as easy as it seems. So stick around to the end of this video and I'll help you decide exactly which option you should choose and why. We'll also answer one of the most asked questions, how much can I earn from either? All right, so let's start with the key differences between freelance and full-time, right? And I'm specifically around DevOps jobs, and they're really straightforward. With a full-time DevOps role, you're a dedicated salary team member in a company's IT department. You could be solo, but you're typically with a group. You get a fixed income, you get a defined schedule, you get to manage infrastructure, you're gonna automate processes, you're gonna monitor continuous deployments, continuous integration. Right, you're gonna set up pipelines and that job can vary a lot. As a freelancer, you're doing contracts where you basically manage many of your DevOps clients' needs. Sometimes at once, often short term. Sometimes there's many clients, sometimes there's one client. It's a lot more varied, it's a lot more flexible and the type of work you get is gonna change quite a bit. And it can lead to unpredictable workloads, especially if you have many clients going at the same time. You will get autonomy, but you must wear multiple hats and that includes project management, marketing, client communications, as well as an engineer's role. For instance, when I was managing multiple deployments in a full-time position, I could focus on improving systems over time, investing in this one thing, almost like an infinite gain kind of process. As a freelancer, I'd have a finite amount of time to achieve a finite goal, and I'd jump into a project, deliver the results, and then move on once all the requirements by the client were met. Now. Also with a full-time role in DevOps, you're probably working closely with a team, so you're probably gonna be with some team members and you're gonna participate in things like daily standups, spread planning, long-term projects, all of the stuff that we do when we work for a company. With freelancing or contracting, you don't really interact with the internal teams that much and unless you're coming with your own team, you're gonna go solo. Now, I remember leading a team through a big cloud migration as a full-time DevOps engineer and the level of team coordination and support I had with that team made the migration possible. As a freelancer, you don't always get that level of internal support. So how do you decide which one's perfect for you? The real answer, it boils down to just a few things. In my experience, choosing between freelancing, like as a contractor running your own business and working full time depends on your need for stability, your ability to handle unpredictability and uncertainty, and your long-term career goals. So. Let's start with the need for stability first. If you want a steady paycheck, you want benefits and a very clear career path within an organization, go full-time. It'll give you peace of mind. You can focus on what you need to improve. You can focus on your technical skills. You can do it with one company, one environment, one team, safe, steady, predictable. Freelancing is the complete opposite. Projects can be inconsistent. Some months it might be great and others it might be slow. Other weeks it might be overwhelming. So you're gonna to need to manage your finances and your time carefully. But you'll learn new things. You will never get bored and you can make a lot of money. So that kind of settles that there. So then the real question is how much can you earn from either? If you choose to go full time, typically in a DevOps role, you'll learn about 90 to $150,000 a year as you go from say junior to intermediate. This does vary greatly on your location and your experience. And as you get into the senior levels, you'll make north of 150, 180,000 USD per year easily. With freelancing, you kind of let yourself and the market decide how much you earn, but with the right clients and projects, so you can be selective. Now, you can earn anywhere from $100,000 a year to maybe even $400,000 a year annually, depending on your level of workload, what you're charging per hour, how well known your expertise is, how valuable your service is. Here's advice for someone who has more than, well, almost three decades of experience. Choose based on your lifestyle and your goals. If stability and team collaboration are essential, go full-time. If you want the flexibility, you get bored easily and you want new challenges and you wanna learn all the different facets of a business, freelancing, contracting, that's gonna be the way to go. So which sounds more appealing to you? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to see your responses. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out CodeCloud.com to build those DevOps certifications and those DevOps skills that you need to either freelance or full-time.